Yo, it's your boy Protege, and I'm here going live word for word on Unity TV. <laughs> I think that's self-explanatory. Um, as a musical artist growing up, I think everybody wants to hear their song played on the radio at some point in time, uh, especially here listening to Reggie Brown and Q100. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to hear my, my song on the radio. Growing up, you know, it's one thing that you, only thing that you got is your respect. Um, and you learn that from all the gangster movies growing up. That's one thing that I can say is that uh, I try to show people respect everywhere that I go and that I'm respected everywhere that I go. Um, and when it comes to trouble, I don't promote it, but you know, I'll always defend myself. So that's where that came into play. I'm drifting away, I'm drifting away. Yeah, yeah. Losing my days, losing my days. Yeah, yeah. You already know I'm ready to pull. Really, this came from like getting lost in your daydreams and your thoughts of wanting to chase the dream and be successful and where you see yourself. So I lose myself a lot daydreaming over the life that I want to go get, the life that's meant for me. Um, but also at the same time, it's like, shit, I love partying, I love kicking it. So let's pour up, you know, let's have fun while we're here. Let's enjoy those moments. Um, but at the same time, shit, I'm ready to go. Shit for pride, but looking back, I pay it never mind. Been a couple days, I dreamt the suicide, but then I snap back like nigga, you are way too fly. So I look back on my life, especially as being a writer. Um, and I done done a lot of stupid shit. I mean, a lot of y'all watching this gonna probably see, you can probably tell that I done done a lot of stupid shit. Um, and most of it was for foolish pride. Um, but also I wouldn't be here dropping this if I hadn't done those things. And I mean, the best part about it is you get to learn from those things. So really, I don't even think about this shit in the past no more. It's only about moving forward. Um, but with saying that, it's been a lot of dark days just as well as great days. So sometimes I find myself in dark places where I contemplate thoughts or things that I never thought I would before. Um, but then I have to catch myself like, you you are breathing and you're able to walk and you can't take shit like that for granted because there's a lot of people who not or who can't. So snap back and get back to it. Get off of your ways, can't live in that past, you know. Be mad at the smash, that pussy was sad to you. What can I say? I'm in love with the game, T Boo. Fuck on my face, move on my way. Um, from all the bad relationships, you know, that pussy was sad, T.O., like time out, you know, or the crying face, as many as y'all know. Um, you know, it's a dirty game out here, but unfortunately we all got to play it and people are in love with it like Tebow. So you throw that in there as well, um, as well as hoping that Christ and Jesus and faith can lead you to a different or better place. Um, but also saying like, get the fuck out of my face because I really don't got time for the bullshit at the same time. So as holy as I can be, don't test me, don't tempt me. Mike Jack, bite me baby and I bite back. Dog pound, come sip a little gin and juice. How you doing tip drills while you getting loose? I'm feeling you, but baby, here's the truth. When it's all over, no, I won't call you. When it's all over, go erase my number. Have a hot girl, someone might as well pop too. So with this one, I wanted to incorporate some of the greats and get a little wordplay, a little bit of uh, wit. Uh, so we start out with Michael Jackson and Mike Tyson and talking about how we bite, we bite back. You know, it's not just a bark over here. Um, but then we switch it up with the same bike going to the dog pound um, with Snoop Dogg and shouting out the legends. Uh, come sip a little gin and juice. I had you doing tip drills, shouting out Nelly and shouting out T.I. while you getting loose. How they both switch up on them tracks too. I'm feeling you, but baby, here's the truth. Like, you know, you can't really slow me down. I'm not really here for you on this evening. 
uh, that radio is presented. So don't get your hopes up. Don't think it's a lifelong thing. Don't need to risk it all. Don't need to risk it all. Won't take that risk at all. Won't take that risk at all. Won't miss that bitch at all. Won't miss that bitch at all. Ignore her when she call. I'm only focused on. This one just going back into that person who focused on a dream and focused on chasing something uh, that he really wants, his passion. So he's saying like, he doesn't want to take that risk of having a child with on a, a person that he has on a one night stand. He's also saying he won't miss her. You know, how can you miss something that you never really had? Um, that number that she calls, ignore it every single time because that's not his focus. It takes away and it's a distraction. Um, which is getting to the radio. Now I done done some stupid shit for pride. But look at my eyes, they focus on coming, I'm snatching that prize. The time I've been right. Still being humble, but fuck it, let's double that prize. Fuck being nice. I'm having the time of my life. Um, it's just really speaking some truth, like. I did some stupid shit for pride, but now that I'm focused, my mind is right, I'm off the bullshit. Um, I got my eye on the prize and I'm coming for it. So nigga be cool, don't fuck up my mood. I dropped out of school, but I make more than you. A, a nigga no fool, I learned and I grew up, yeah. Do what you do, just wash my shoes like, yeah. Sometimes in this life, you gotta understand your worth. And just because you understand your worth doesn't mean that you're getting conceited or cocky. It just means that you value yourself and you have to put a value on yourself or other people will. So that's why I say I'm still being humble, but fuck it, let's double that price. Like, fuck being nice to people. Um, let's go get your worth. Because at the same time that I'm putting my hard work and my effort into this, or the person who was in radio, I should say, um, they're loving everything about what they do. They love the grind and love making the music, um, which is why they're progressing and hearing themselves on the radio. You know, going back to being witty and having a little fun with the bars, uh, a nigga no fool, you know what I mean? Like, I dropped out of school, but I make more than you. That's just, you know, throwing shit in there. Like, people tell you if you don't go to school and get a college degree that you don't make shit, but I see so many people who are entrepreneurs who chase their career goals that come out better in the long run. On my feet, Kobe's on my feet. My nigga, rest in peace. My nigga, rest in peace. I got that in the beats. I got that in the beats. Won't stop until I eat and give it to the streets. Man, this one, you know, like RIP to the greatest, or one of the greatest, I should say. Um, if y'all know me, uh, y'all know Kobe is like my all time idol. Um, I wish I could have had a conversation with him. So it, when it came to throwing shoes in there that people should watch or that people should not step on if I ever had him on, it's like, don't touch the Kobe's because, you know, who, who knows what's bound to happen when, when you're doing something like that. So I just thought it was my way of giving a little bit of ode to the, one of the goats, uh, to one of my idols, to one of my heroes, and something that everybody could uh, relate to. So radio came to life um, by me really just sitting down brainstorming one day, not even just letting thoughts come to my head. Um, and I stumbled across the show that had a uh, janitor in it that was cleaning up a nightclub. Um, and me being a musical artist myself, I was like, you know, I, it kind of sucks that uh, someone has to clean that up every single night and be, he doesn't really, or he or she doesn't really get too much credit for it. Um, so I kind of put myself into their shoes, thinking that the day that I perform in a live club that big, or when I reach the heights that I intend to, um, to not forget about those people and make sure that I look out for them a little bit extra. So with that being said, I started thinking about radio as me being a musical artist and if I was a janitor. So I wrote it as, um, me being inside of a club uh, that I worked at um, and having one of the musical gifts unknown to anyone around me, uh, but watching the club owner pay tens and twenty and fifty thousand dollars to have people come walk through, um, what personally think I'm better than, you know, step inside the ring 
and I think that I'm better than them as far as musically. Um, and falling into a daydream, looking at the stage as I should be cleaning it, um, daydreaming about the day that that's me and envisioning that the night that's about to happen for somebody else, the red carpet, um, the champagne, the life, you know, everything that you envision is actually for me and me sleeping or, or slipping into that daydream only to be awakened at the end of radio um, with the reality by my boss that I'm still just the janitor um, and him pretty much shitting on my dreams. The making of radio, honestly, I came into the studio. Um, I don't really write too much. Like I'll go um, repeat things in my head until they memorize, which is a form, I guess, of writing, just not putting it down on paper. Um, but I do that quite often. So I actually came into the studio with um, radio being the last thing on my mind, but the hook to me was just so catchy. Um, I kept wanting to sing it. So I actually came into the studio with uh, TK Got The Mix um, at Timeless Studios. And I put the beat on right away, which is one that I found off of B-Stars by Yondo. It's produced by Yondo. Um, and the beat was catchy, the hook was catchy. So I laid the hook right away. Um, and then I just kind of started flowing and Fell into the daydream, quite honestly, of radio. And just like that, that's how it happened. Um, I love what it's envisioned. I can't wait. I love how it turned out. I can't wait until you guys are seeing the visual, um, which will be dropping right around New Year's, just to give you all a little bit of a sneak peek on that. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out amazing. All I ever wanted was the radio. Turn it up and hear my name. They show me respect anywhere I go You don't want no trouble, you already know I'm drifting away, I'm drifting away Losing my days, losing my days You already know, I'm ready to blow You already know, I'm ready to blow Now I done done some stupid shit for pride But look in my eyes, they focus on coming, I'm snatching that pride Let's double that prize, fuck me and I